Hi, so I'm back in the chicken enclosure. We're going to be looking at Mr. Cogburn's eggs that have been in the incubator for seven days. Now, the eggs that we tested last week for fertility only gave us a 50% success rate, uh, which is not good enough. We're looking for somewhere between 80 and 90% fertility. Now, clearly, he is fertile. He's just not hitting the mark with the chickens. Now, the younger hens, unfortunately, uh, he's treading an awful lot. Now, I'm saying unfortunately because what, we, what we've noticed on Barbie is that she's got the early signs of some uh, quite severe feather wear. I think he's seen the sparrowhawk that's just actually flown over. Um, so he's warning his girls that um, they need to come to him to be protected. Clearly, as he stood on his own, he's not quite got command of the flock yet. Anyway, I'm going off at a tangent. Um, we have feather wear on Barbie, so in this short video, I'm going to show you what we do to combat that and actually show you it being fitted so that when he treads her, she doesn't have the feather wear anymore. Okay, so let's have a look at the fertility of Cogburn's eggs first. Now, this is egg number one out of 12. And this egg is absolutely fertile. I'm just pointing to a black dot that you can see that comes in and out of focus. I'm going to move the egg around a little bit. So hopefully we can see that. Oh, that's perfect. Did you see that? That is an indication that this egg has been fertilized fully. You can also see the size of the yolk has increased significantly. And I'm also just going to try and point out some thin vertical lines. Those are the beginnings of blood vessels, which indicate, indicate that the egg has formed a formal embryo. So egg number one is fertile. So rather than bore you with watching me um, test all of the eggs in the 12 egg batch, I'm jumping ahead to egg number 12 of 12 and as you can see this egg is also fertile. Now last week Rooster Cogburn managed to succeed in fertilizing 5 out of 10 eggs. This week his hit rate has gone up significantly and he's managed to fertilize 10 out of 12 so congratulations Rooster Cogburn you are now officially our breeding rooster. I think what I need to do now is show you the other aspect of our breeding season this week and resolving the problems of feather wear so I'll show you fitting of one of the chicken saddles. Okay so this is Barbie let me just get my hair out of the way so this is Barbie and I think you can see there that she's got quite a bit of feather wear from the rooster climbing on her back so we need to protect that as best we can and what we do is we use this which is known as a chicken saddle. And all you do, let me turn you around, love. I know, I know you're not keen. So first thing you do, is get her left hand wing, and you just slide it over. Then turn her around and the tape just tightens up and then you pop it over and I just got to make sure I've got the popper in the right place and then there is a popper which just clips into place and there you go so now you can see where she was being worn away with the feathers is now protected so when she is mounted by Rooster Cogburn she's fully protected hi darling <laughs> 